All right, welcome to Rob's Kitchen. This is a video that I felt I should make for anyone who suffers from an inflammatory disease. I personally have ankylosing spondylitis, and I found this to be a very effective uh, supplement, let's call it. So if I'm literally laying out everything that I use, occasionally when you have ankylosing spondylitis, anybody who suffers from an inflammatory disease knows that you have days of what are called breakthrough pain, where, I mean, myself, I'm on three or four different kinds of medications. I take monthly injections. I even take a pretty powerful opioid pain med, and there are some days where none of it works. I've come across this, and I wanted to share it with people. So what we have here is a mason jar, powdered turmeric, full fat, which is to say 3.8% goat's milk, a ginger root, some filtered water, and creatine monohydrate. So I found this to be very helpful with, uh, well, one of those days where you just have too darn much inflammation. So what I do is, sorry, rude to go off camera here. Take a little bit of full fat goat's milk, and the reason that I stress full fat milk, I prefer goat's milk, well, for a few reasons. One of those reasons is I am allergic to cow's milk, but goat's milk is naturally uh, homogenized, which means the fat is evenly distributed through the milk with no uh, artificial processes involved. It just comes that way <laughs> from the goat. And the reason you use full fat milk is because Turmeric is fat soluble, not water soluble. So the fat helps to distribute the turmeric through the milk. So for this particular demonstration, I'm going to do two rounded teaspoons of turmeric root in the milk. And we're going to add a little water. And the reason we're going to add a little water is because I would say let's go with two thirds to three quarters milk and one-third to one-quarter water. We're going to take a tiny bit of creatine monohydrate. We're going to mix that in. Give it a little stir. Now be prepared if you're not used to working with turmeric. The stuff stains everything it touches. Countertops, cutting boards, cloths, everything. So, the turmeric, it, the turmeric is a terrific anti-inflammatory. It will reduce your pain to the extent that a couple of Advils would in about 45 minutes to an hour. You will feel the difference. Uh, yesterday, I had terrible pain. Nothing I could do about it. Uh, you know, like my medications weren't working. Heat wasn't working. I tried hot showers. I tried resting. Nothing. So, I went to the turmeric. I've also taken the liberty of uh, cutting up a ginger root. I would say about a one inch cube of ginger, give or take. And this doesn't go in the drink, you just eat it. If you would rather use powdered ginger in the drink, not as effective as fresh ginger root. Fresh ginger root works far better than any powdered, ground, anything else you find. If you don't like the taste of ginger, um, Cook it, try cooking it, and even cooked ginger. It's less, slightly less effective in my experience, but it still works. Uh, or try the powdered stuff in the mix. So we've got the turmeric for the inflammation, and pure creatine monohydrate is for uh, muscle recovery. Into the mason jar, and I'll warn you now, this stuff tastes terrible. It's awful. But hey, it's medicine. Look at the color. Shake it up. Give it a good shake for a few minutes. Uh, you'll know if you've overdone it with the turmeric or the creatine because you're going to get sediment on the bottom. It should mix. These amounts should mix fairly well. As far as the ginger goes, I just eat it. Simple as that. Chew it up, swallow it down. I happen to love the taste of raw ginger. Uh, the rest of my family wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole. So this goes out to everybody with ankylosing spondylitis or any other inflammatory disease. Give it a try. Let me know down in the comments uh, how it worked for you. Anybody else with any natural remedies? 
feel free. Let everybody know.